It's fine. Jesse and I will go turn on the lights. Grayson, you and Gerard can go find a way out. Lewis and Sonny, you stay here. Be back in 15 minutes. Sounds like a plan to me. Very well. Meet back here in 15 minutes, but no later than that. In the meantime, if something comes up, we can all keep in touch via walkie-talkie. I assume you all have one. Jesse and I found some, yes. Okay then, let's go. With a nod, Grayson and Gerard picked up two lanterns and exited the cafeteria. See you all soon! If you don't all get yourselves killed. It's all right, we'll be fine here. Oh, the stench was unbearable. I wonder what kind of food they serve at a place like this. Nothing good, I'd imagine. Lots of classics, but they were all worn. I wondered whether this old speaker was used for general announcements or to sound an alarm. Maybe both. The snow's getting pretty bad out there. You're telling me. Another door. Something on the other side blocked the door from opening. Despite its age, the ball wasn't deflated. I never understood how prisoners could lift weights all day to pass the time. If it were me, I'd be sore within minutes. These lights were out too. Under different circumstances, I might enjoy taking a few shots. Air conditioning and some other machinery. Nothing important. These lights were out too. Those security cameras were somehow still receiving power. and I have found the main entrance, but it's bolted shut. We'll have to find some other way out. Good thing this gate is open. Several heavy, splintered wooden planks were scattered across the floor. It 
was too dark to see anything in that direction, even with the lantern. I don't feel comfortable in here. Like God is judging me. That's why I never go to church. Several heavy. This area doesn't look quite as run down as the rest of the prison. We'll keep looking around. I can only imagine what was wheeled around on this. This door leads to the medical ward. It was cold to the touch. Too bad. I could have used some heat right about now. This door leads to the medical ward. Another locked door. What the hell? Did our captor take these pictures while we slept? I'm so scared. Imagine a glass standing between you and your loved one. And this phone was your only form of communication. How sad. Those don't look too comfortable. Still snowing. It would have been way too heavy to carry around. worry I'm going to get stuck in one of those. There was no power. Grayson and I are searching around here. The room you're looking for is probably downstairs. no power. Hey, if any of you guys happen to find some food, make sure you bring some back with you. I'm starving. <laughs> I wasn't authorized, but that wouldn't stop me. If only I could have afforded to sit down and rest. I never had the patience to read a magazine. It was too dark to see anything in that. They're hot to the touch. Then don't touch them.
nothing underneath. Just like upstairs, a piece of masking tape was stuck onto the front of the locker, but this time nothing was written on it. I had no clue what the combination was, and I wasn't about to start guessing every possible value. The locker wouldn't open due to the combination padlock on its handle. They say the pen is mightier than the sword, but in this case, I'd rather have the latter. The crumpled page was blank. Various prison documents, nothing worthwhile. The crumpled page was blank. painter, not an electrician. I had no idea what those were. That's a lot of sparks. power. Why must there be so many locked doors? What was that? It sounded like it came from the corridor to the west. I wanted to investigate the noise. was empty, apart from rat. Let's wake her up. We can bring her with us to the cafeteria. I think I should be the one to wake her, Will. Given our situation, she might feel safer seeing a woman first. Jessie gently nudged the unconscious woman. 
Wake up. It's okay, wake up. What's your name? Becca. I'm Jessie, and this is Will. You're gonna be okay, Becca. We need to find her a set of clothes. Go look for some. Guards used to call these Old Smokies. I call them inhumane. I wouldn't dare pull that switch. Not even to joke around. With so much junk littering the floor, you'd think there would be something that could help us. Sadly, there was not. More books on justice. Someone was obsessed. I think it was some kind of generator. It powered the electric chair. The rusted bucket was filled with water. Floating atop inside was a wet sponge. An odd hum was emanating from these pipes. sealed the locker. The padlock was worn. I could probably break it with something heavy. I didn't need any... Judging by this... The locker wouldn't open due to the combination padlock on its handle. I suppose I don't need this lantern anymore. More... They fit. They'll have to do. Mind giving us some privacy, Will? With a nod, I exited the cell. Two minutes later, Jesse called, and I walked back inside. I'm glad to see you're able to stand. Are you okay? What? What am I doing here? something we're all trying to figure out at the moment. We should head back to the cafeteria and regroup. to the cafeteria.
someone added Becca's photo to the white. This store leads. We returned to the cafeteria and found the others waiting for us. Hey, and who is this attractive lady? Becca Ronnie. I'm a lawyer. A lawyer? Right. A pleasure. We found her in the basement. Well, the rest of this place is empty. Front doors are sealed, too. I don't think there's any way for us to get out of here until our captor reveals him or herself. Captor? A masked figure who spoke to us in a recording. He says he brought us here because... Um, I excuse me, everyone? Does anyone remember what that guy actually said? He said the six of you. Well, I count seven of us now, which means... That one of us may be our captor. Which one of you brought us here? I want to know now. Calm down, Jesse. Let's... Don't tell me to calm down. One of you is responsible for this. You know what? I'm tired of putting up with this. I'm out of here. I'll find a way out on my own. Me too. If I can't trust any of you, I'm better off alone. I guess it's every man for himself from here on out. Everyone, wait. We need to work together. Well, Will, I suppose we go off on our own at this point. For what it's worth, I do have something to hide. I realized that I told you all earlier that I'm a businessman. And that was a lie. I work for the FBI. The FBI? And when exactly were you planning to inform us of that little fact? I didn't know what we were dealing with then. I realize now that lying to you was a mistake. You're damn right it was. Why are you telling me this? To show you that I was hiding something, and in hope that you will trust me. I wish you luck. <laughs> 